Hey everybody and welcome. In this video we'll be talking about the three types of Bill's materials in Open Bomb, and there are three. Now, I'm going to go back to a very simple example of the skateboard just to make a point and then we'll move on to something much more realistic. The three types of Bill's material in Open Bomb are multi-level, single level, and a very powerful flattened bomb. So let me take you through my example to kind of illustrate what each of those does. First, multi-level, my preference, where I like to work, uh, represents our product structure. This is what we might call the indented bill of material for the thing we're making. In this case, it's a skateboard. I think we all understand uh, the, the product structure of a skateboard. But I, I've doctored it up a little bit here to make a point for educational purposes. So. My skateboard has a board, uh, an act, two axles, and six screws at the top to hold the axles on. And then each axle has a couple of wheels, an axle shaft, and some more screws. So while this may not make perfect sense from a skateboard perspective, for a bill of material example, this is a great example. So um, this is our entire uh, product, a board, some screws, some axles, etc. That's multi-level. In single level is a representation of any one of the green boxes here, any level in our bomb. We show just those things that appear in, in that bomb, uh, at that bomb level. So here we go. If I look at a single level of the skateboard, I'm going to see board screw axle. All good. And then the powerful flattened bomb. And this is, you think of this as the shopping list of, uh, of everything that's in my bill of materials. And here's the point I want to make. Our, take a look at the screw here. We see that we've got five screws per axle times two axles are 10 plus six more at the top level are 16. So we, we expect and we see 16 screws here in the flattened bomb. Extremely important to understand that the flattened bomb rolls up the quantities of, of uh, every item from all levels. Okay, so there's the skateboard um, academic view of multi-level, single level, and flattened. Let's look at something more realistic. I'm going to open um, uh, a design that I really like, which is an underwater camera housing. I open it in multi-level. Like I said, I like to work in multi-level. Gives me a lot of information. Most importantly, it gives me quick access to rolled up information like costs that I may be concerned about as I'm working you know, in my bill of material. I like to work in multi-level. When I want to drill down and make some change or do some more uh, work, specific areas of the bomb, I can select, for example, this handle assembly, click composed of, and then I'll see a single level view of that sub-assembly. Again, here, these are just the bits and pieces that are in that sub-assembly. Really important, easy to do work in here. So I'd like to draw your attention to this quarter 20 screw and I'm going to grab that part number here in my in my copy buffer and return back to my top level. This is a really uh, uh, this is a very common question you know how many of those screws do I, are in my entire bill of material? That's where flatten comes in. So I'm going to take a look at this bomb. I'm going to flatten it. Open bomb just flattens the entire structure from the top down. I'm going to use the find command and just look for that screw and I see there are 17 of these quarter 20 uh, flathead screws in my entire uh, design at, you know, from the top down. So those are the three really important types of bills of material. They are multi-level, again, kind of product structure view, single level, which is a view of, of just one level of your bill of material with all the information there. And then of course, the popular flattened or the powerful flattened, which gives you that that shopping list rolled up quantities from, from the top down. So more information on this at help.openbomb.com. And of course, you can reach us always at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.